Hello and welcome to Nanny Moon's Crochet. My name's Sally and today is Monday the 18th of March 2024 and I'd like to welcome you all here today. Um, the, first, the first thing with Easter coming, the first thing that I've been doing, well I've been trying to get a few little Easter, little Easter little gifts for my grandchildren so last week I showed you I'd done a little duck and um, two little rabbits. Well, this week I've made this this big chick. Now it comes in a separate shell, and they say you can either use that oops as a little hat, a little hat, but I like it that way, sitting in the little shell. Now this is a pattern by uh, I wrote it down here it's a YouTube tutorial and it's a pattern by make it with muon m u o n and I used a five millimeter hook and I used my yarn smiths this is the wool warehouse's own brand uh, snug as a bug um that's the yellow. The 300 gram balls, 150 meters, and you can cool wash and tumble dry on low. So that's good if you're making a, a baby blanket or anything, you can machine wash. I recommend an 8 millimeter hook, but I used a 5 millimeter. Um, and then, just in case it was for one of the little ones, I, um, I didn't. Well, the pattern doesn't say you safety eyes. You sew the eyes in anyway, and then these you just sew on. Simple to make, so on. But the basket was this. The baskets are really, really easy. I thought you could you could do a few of those just on their own. They're lovely. So that one, and then I thought, wow, that's come out quite big. That's come out very big. So then I went on. Oh, uh, the white. The white was just the same, uh, snug as a bug. It's the uh, same, 150 metres, so you get a lot in there. And at the moment, these are 650, I believe it is, on uh, Wool Warehouse, £6.50 on sale. But I think the sale is ending in three days, I'm sure. So, but it's uh, 650 for 300 gram is brilliant, I think so. I guess a few more of those. Um, now, then I thought, oh, I'll have to do a little one. So here's my little one, my little chick. Uh, I did the little feet. Now, <laughs> I've, I've sewed, I think I sewed, the, they look like ears. <laughs> oh, some, yeah, still getting used to sewing these little bits on. See, they look like ears. They, that was meant to be like on this little chick his little his little wings point down see i've sewn them the wrong way so oh, i don't think i don't think the little grandchildren will mind i don't think they'll notice but anyway sewn on beak and eyes and then he's his little shell and he sits in there quite nice or it could be his little hat you could make a load of them and have have a little family of them but after the years i thought oh, Anyway, um, so that pattern was the same pattern, make it, make it with muon. And the yarn I used for this one, um, a long, well, how many years, or oh, I'd say two or three years ago, um, I used to order with Wish. I know um, Timu sort of took over from that now a little bit. But uh, I ordered these, and it's milk cotton. Um and they weren't very expensive i can't really remember how much they were because it's been a long time ago but uh, there isn't many much detail because a lot of it's in chinese but it says they're stretch so it is it is a little bit stretchy and this this was just the color the color number one which was white and it, it says machine wash non-chlorine bleach 
120 degrees, 140 degrees C, dry in the shade, and it says 50 gram, and it's 80%, 80%, um, I think that was acrylic, 80% acrylic, but there was, there was 20% of milk powder, or something like that but anyway there isn't much information but it is really really soft so we, I'd ordered uh, that's another one look milk cotton but it's really really soft it says it's cotton no that wasn't 80% acrylic it was I can't remember but it is cotton but it's really really soft so that's what I made the little chicken so we have uh, well I say a mommy and a baby perhaps more like a daddy and a baby so that's those two and then also I wanted to make I've, I've paid for this pattern sweet sweet softy she has got a YouTube tutorial but I just love that little bunny puff tiny so I just found this oddball it's Starcraft special chunky the color is silver and I thought oh well, that's and I thought, oh, they're a little bunny, so that's the tiny little bunny. Well, it only took twenty minutes or something. You you do his little tail on afterwards. That's just like a little bobble, and then you you crochet on the ears. There's nothing to sew on. It's all in one piece, and the little eight millimeter eyes. And I put a little a little safety nose on. So that's a little cute bunny made in that um what's my next thing now as i showed you last week um i, I know i mention this every week but uh coco's crochet uh, litza from coco's crochet she's doing a a cow a crochet along 2024 now each um every two weeks she's She's picking a little category and it's little items. I've got my basket here. Let me see if I can. Oh, Ooh, nearly broke my basket. Um, what, what we've been doing, this I'm just going to give this as a present for Christmas or and the mug. So she started off. First thing we did, I think, was was it head cup cozies? Yeah, cup cozies, I think. So we made little cup cozies. So I made a few of those as little gifts. That was the first category that went over two weeks and the next one was headbands um so i just made some uh you know that's got the twist on it i made some headbands there's one or two um and then the next category i think was beanies so i made made a few beanies and then we had water bottle um carriers holders for water bottles so I did some of those um, so it's just nice to have a little stock if you've got a birthday coming up or a you know Christmas or whatever just a little stock of presents to have so uh, the last category was baskets I showed you this one last week just did that that one up so I've showed you that one already so this week I've got this pattern um, I must have had this off, this was off Lovecrafts, the website Lovecrafts, and it was um, it was a free pattern, that sounds like a bit creased up, it's UK terms and it's basic crochet basket, now that looks really nice doesn't it, I thought that'd be handy, I'll do one of those, and it told you to use three 100 gram paint box simply aran in cream so it asks for an aran weight yarn and a 10 millimeter hook and i went i went back on and made sure that wasn't a mistake it definitely said a 10 millimeter hook uh that was a free pattern i've had that quite a while so the base of it you did in half half trebles which is uk terms so in us terms it's half double crochets which are are these but see how loose that was coming and i thought 
when you come to do, go up the sides, you used, well, double crochet in UK, single crochets in US terms. So you made a big piece, then folded it over. So I thought, well, that would make it a bit more sturdy. But I wasn't happy with this base it being too loose and stretchy. So I'd only done about that much of the, the sides. So before I got too far, I undid it. And um, so I got the base, which was like an oblong. So I folded it over. And where's my... Oh, yeah. This little... This little tablet, um, it's getting, I just noticed it was getting scratched. And I thought, oh, must make a little case for that. So anyway, so I got this little piece. So what I did, I um, I just uh, single crocheted it all together to make like a little bag. And then I just did some chains, threaded it through that side threaded through that side so now it's like I said 10 millimeter hook so now I've got a little I've got a little bag for my um, <clears throat> little bag for my tablet just to protect it so that pattern was useless really that pattern wasn't any good at all just needed well I needed a smaller hook that's what I needed but anyway um the uh, the yarn for that's lovely and it's um it was coming it nice how it, all the base was blue and then it started coming jade green and this was cascade cascade yarns and it's called anthem rondo so look at the colors in that that's really really nice blue and green like a navy a denim blue dark green jade I don't think it just says the colour. No, it just says colour number four. And this is 100% acrylic, 200 gram, and it's got 340 metres or 372 yards. Machine wash warm, tumble dry. Cascade Yarns, Seattle. Seattle. Family owned since 18, 1987. Made in India. Can't really remember where I got these from, but I know I got, I know I bought two of them. But like I said, there's 340 metres, so this is nice ideal for doing little things like that. And it's just really soft, it's nice. So, got a full one there, so I'll be doing something nice with that. Anyway, so then I thought, well, I hadn't done a basket. And when I did my um, wool warehouse yarn haul, I'd ordered this because orange is my favourite colour. Any colour like, but this burnt orange or orange, any oranges so this is called carrot and i got this lovely big ball and i was going to do some little goldfish with it and i thought no that'll be a waste really so i thought oh i'm gonna i'm going to make a basket but it was just no particular pattern just a made up pattern um so i've used a 10 millimeter hook and i started here with eight single crochets in the middle then went to 16 and then increased one, increased one, then increased two, then increase single, you know how you go round and round and round. And I got to I think it was 72, I got round. Then I did a row of back loops only, and then I went up the side. And um, I love how that's turned out. Love it. Now, what I was going to put in here, I'm going to put all like all my little stickers that I had from Timu, the inspirational stickers and things like that. But then I've got I've got lots of these little these little I don't know whether you call them Serdar Happy Cuts. They're like little bonbons, they're little tiny things there. I don't know if you can see. Let me just whoops, sorry. Can you see there's a box there, a box full, and I've got another box full. Well, they have 50. They have 50 of these little colours in. So, um, and my mum had um, bought me those as birthday presents and Christmas presents. It's double knitting and it's 100% cotton. Um, 
there's only 20 gram but you get 43 meters or 47 yards 100 percent cotton it doesn't tell you the color it just says shade 751 machine washable on the wool cycle wash dark color separately dry flat reshape whilst wet um maybe dry cleaned anyway these let me show you what they're in at the moment so like i said i've got i think i've got three boxes there but at the moment they're in this they're in this uh this basket so it's beautiful colors look i've got a lot of these i think and um, like i said you get oops it'll be tense you get 50 of 50 of these i think this probably was a box full so you get lots and lots and lots um let me just show you what i've got in there so far so yeah i thought if i could always make a few more and then i've got my little little bonbons all in my little basket so love that and yeah just i didn't have a pattern i just did the basic bottom then back loops only and just did a few rows because because you go around i think it's here because i was doing a continuous round what what you find because you're going in a spiral you don't have really that one i did that that was quite bad i didn't finish that off properly at all but with my orange one what I did, um, you can't see too well. I might have been here. You, you can't see it too. It's not too bad. So what I did, I was doing, if you're doing single crochets, instead of just ending, I slip stitched for about three or four, three or four stitches. And it, it gradually, gradually um, filtered it down so that's what i did with that and and it worked i thought it worked out a lot better than just doing the just finish off and then you've got this bit of a step um right so done that that's my bunny pattern now then i'll go on to my cute critters um, I was looking in my, um, I was looking in my, uh, in my different books or my different, uh, I mean, sorry, I can't seem to speak today. All in my Amigurumi books and I've noticed I've got a, a brand new one of these. So I've got this one, which is getting rather, <laughs> rather worn and tatty, but I've got a brand new one. So I'm almost up to 400 subscribers thank you to all my new subscribers welcome um so i think when i get to 500 subscribers i'm going to do a giveaway and give one give my other book away because you don't need to do you so i know some of the youtube channels have probably got it because i think it's a popular book but uh yeah and as soon as i get to 500 subscribers it's by uh sarah zimmerman and uh it's a lovely book. I like all of the, the characters. So last <clears throat> last week we chose Alex the alligator, and here he is with his little tail, with his little front um, front little tummy, and he has twelve millimeter eyes. His little nostrils. It was lovely to make quite easy there was more parts though because you i mean you haven't just got arms and legs and a head then say ears you've got this was just like a little circle then you do the green bit and the the, the muzzle snout whatever and the little nostrils and the little tail well the big tail so he sits it sits up lovely and so that's alex the alligator he's cute I just, yeah, I have to, excuse me one minute, just one second, 
Just one second, I'll be back. Right, uh, I'm back. I just couldn't find my little, my little mug, my little drawer mug. Right, so that was Alex. Let me show you the photo in the book. So that was, that was him. That's my little one. So that was how it's done. And what I used, as always, <coughs> I used uh, the Starcraft, Starcraft Special Aaron. I used white, only a little bit of white, because that was for just his little round his eye. And I used pistachio and meadow, those two. And just to recap, these are 100% premium acrylic. Naturally anti-pilling, knits to all Aran patterns, and wash 30 degrees, cool, tumble dry, use a 5mm hook. Pistachio, Starcraft, 100, 100 gram, which is 196 metres or 214 yards. So that's generally what I use for all the patterns. Um... Right, 12 minutes, I just told you that. So, it's time to pick our next one. The little mug that Emma got me. I tell you that every week. <laughs> Her daughter Emma got me this little mug. Right, who are we going to have this week? There's one that I'm not really looking forward to. But I'll tell you that if we, if we pick it. It just seems quite a lot to do with it. But a lot of work involved. But let's have a look. Shall we? See what we've got. Oh, does it say Freddy the Fox? Lovely. Freddy the Fox. So let's have a look where he is. Oh, that'll be nice. Well, they're all nice. Page 47. Hmm. <laughs> That's him. That's lovely. So uh, ears, yeah, not, yeah, quite a few bits. I've got his tail, his ears, his little muzzle, pumpkin black and white. Cheeks, ears, tail, nose, arms, legs, head and body. <laughs> so that's what we'll have for next week, Freddy, Freddy the Fox. So I shall look forward to getting started on him. Now, uh, the only other thing I was going to show you, last week I mentioned there was a couple in the village that, uh, well, I say they're expecting a baby. I think she was going into hospital to be induced on last Saturday, just not yesterday, the day before. So she could well have the baby by now. But I'm not too worried because... You know, you can give a baby gift a week or two after, can't you? So it doesn't really matter. So this is what I've got so far. Let me fold it in half and then you can... So it's 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 double that. Not done that much. That's the stitch. So it's nice and... Um, it's DK, so it's nice and light. And what I'm using for this is... It's Yarn Fair Supreme Acrylic DK and the colour is baby pink, lovely, lovely pale, pale pink. And it's 100% um, acrylic, wash 40 degrees and you can tumble dry it. Um, tumble dry low, made in Turkey, I recommend a 4mm hook. I'm using a 4 using a four and a half millimeter hook just so it, it's a little bit more drapey and a little bit softer and this pattern it's on it's on youtube and it's by joy to the world creations it's joy to the world creations and what the pattern is it's a well she calls it it's v stitches only what you're doing into each um into each stitch so this this little hole this little space here is is where i'm going in 
and in there I'll put, this is US terms, I'll put a single crochet, a chain and a double crochet all into that one space and then I move on to see this is the this is the little V I'm not going in between so this is the little V so I'm going it's actually what's the chain one space so it, they're quite all oh, that miss it isn't that one there it's find your little cluster you so you get used to it it's really easy um so I've done quite a bit on it but <laughs> still a bit to go so I'm just going to try and try and work on that like mad and get that finished as it's quite quite an urgent an urgent um well not urgent because like I said it's um doesn't really matter does it oh I beg your pardon I'm not I'm not using a four and a half millimeter hook I'm actually using a five five millimeter hook so that's it's making it nice and loose and not too um, not too heavy or anything like that um now the last the last thing i was just going to catch you up on is my just a minute just a moment this is a nice big basket my husband bought me from from uh, it's toffs it's toffs we call it and it's the initials at the original factory shop i think it used to be Woolworths. When war was closed down, I think some some members, staff members, all joined together and came up with this this the, the original factory shop. Um, anyway, this is my temperature blanket, and every I started January the first, and every every day I record the temperature. Um, there's an app called AccuWeather and they'll give you daily, monthly, yearly temperatures. So I'll go on there. I don't I don't do it every day. I wait until the weekend and then on Saturday I jot down all the temperatures and then I do seven seven rows all in that um on that Saturday night. So um there's a few ends there. I didn't we need there's only a couple of ends because at the moment, the temperatures are all pretty much 9, 10, 9, 10 in that. So I started off with 300 chain. I know that seems, it's only DK, double knitting. Um, and I'm using a 4mm hook and I know 4.5mm hook. And I know that seems a lot, but when you think there's, not 365, 366 because of the leap year, 366 days that's going to be quite tall so anyway uh this was this was all january and then from here to here was february see we did have a bit of warm weather there warmed up a little bit and then this is so far in march so um it's, it's yeah it's gets it's coming on that's it uh and I'm doing the moss stitch and these are my colours I chose see we've just been having these at the moment which is um, this is uh, Celsius between 7 and 9 we've got Cornish blue and between 10 and 12 we've got the Lincoln green so that's what the temperatures are back in February we had a little bit of I think it went up to 13 degrees so we had the grass green that lovely green colour so I'm hoping we'll start coming to these nice sunny colours soon but um, uh, and then oops I've got I've got all my colours in here I'll keep them all they're all in there and it's all as you might know it's it's just a minute let's take this green one no let's take this one it's all stylecraft special dk this color is saffron so doing it all doing it all in these uh in those nice colors 
that one's a different ball band. That one's a different ball band. Must have been a this one must have been an older one, look. Different ball band. I've got quite a few of this colour because it's spice, that's a beautiful colour. So um so I think that's all um crochet related. I'd just like to say thank you for everyone that was um wishing me well with my uh my chest and my cold and my whatever was going on with that. Well, I think I've got it sorted. I had an appointment um last Thursday, I think it was, at the doctor's and I saw, I saw the nurse and I was going for the results of my x-ray and my blood test. I've had this for new subscribers. I've had a really, really bad... In, back in February, I had... I'm sure I had a, a really bad cold. It was like it was virus, actually, they told me. But it, it was... it was My chest was infected and I was so poorly. Um, I couldn't... Uh, and it was raining and I could, just couldn't get to the doctors. And they, they couldn't prescribed me any antibiotics they had to see me in person and I just was way too poorly to go so anyway it's lingered on since then and I've been coughing and it's been hurting anyway I'd, the, re the results of my blood test were everything was fine and they, they tested my liver and kidney and all sorts everything was fine all except now I didn't know this was a thing um in in my blood the inflammatory marker it should normally be about five and it was ten so i didn't even know that was a that was a thing but so the inflammatory aspect of it was up so obviously you know something's inflamed um but everything else was fine my chest x-ray came back okay there was no signs of pneumonia or any bronchitis there was nothing there so that was totally clear so the nurse, she, I don't think she was going to give me anything, but I was I sat there and I've been so tired with coughing. And I said to her, I'm, I just can't go on like this. So I think she realised I needed something. So anyway, she went and got the doctor and she listened to my, she listened to my lungs and she said there's still a little bit of crackling. So anyway, I think she could see I was just at my wit's end. So just a very short dose she gave me um those doxycycline capsules and i have had two on the first day and then one one that's just for a week so i've got those to get rid of what she said was i'd had a virus and it had obviously been really bad and my body's tried to fight it but it just can't it's still there and so it's just to help fight that. So that was um, antibiotic, strong antibiotic. And then these, those prednisone tablets, they were steroids. <clears throat> so, and I've only got four days worth of those. And I have to have eight, eight of those a day with a glass of water sitting up make sure you're not lying down those i can't go in the sun or don't go on sun beds so i'd rather i'd rather not have taken any tablets but it was getting so bad anyway i've been having them for well since thursday and it's monday today so so, so yeah so i do feel a lot lot better i haven't coughed too much touch wood so yeah definitely on the mend so Thank you for everyone that was asking and get wishing me get well soon and everything. Um, so I think that's it. I, think, I don't think I've forgotten anything. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll have a video in the week. I'll have a look, see see what crops up. You never know. So see you all. Um, I'll make a start on Freddy the Fox. It'll be it'll be nice. My favourite colours like spice and ginger and that sort of um those colors so that'll be lovely so i'll see you all next week have a good week and i'll see you next monday if not before bye everyone love you bye